last week i posted this image on my instagram page where i'm basically saying that if you go wrong with your thesis or dissertation topic then you're going to struggle with the dissertation itself and i actually mean it so in today's video we're going to be talking about how to pick or how to choose the right dissertation or thesis topic so that you don't struggle on the long run so if that sounds like what you're looking for then stay around and i'll see you in the video welcome back so let's talk about how you can choose the right thesis topic uh but before i go on make sure to tap on that like button and turn on your bell notification and if you have not subscribed and i'm already giving you like nuggets you have to click that subscribe button all right guys you know i don't like to waste your time so let's get into the video proper before i tell you or before i give you ways in which you can actually choose a very good research topic i think it's best we first talk about the major mistakes that we make as students, as writers, as researchers, the mistakes we make when it comes to choosing a topic. One, one of the very, very common mistake is that people try to choose, choose complex topics. I don't know if you think that by choosing complex topics, it shows that maybe you're read or you're knowledgeable or, or I don't know. But on the long run, what complex topics does is it confuses you and imagine trying to generate your research question from a topic that you've given to your uh to your research your thesis your dissertation and doesn't correlate as in at the end of the day you're having like five or six research question in one single dissertation you're trying to do so much and by trying to do so much you end up leaving out some crucial part of the research of the dissertation of the thesis and then you end up getting confused so oftentimes you see people that come with topics like um the factors affecting something and how they influence the rate of as in then you're like you're trying to do so many things at the same time cone it down so that if you cone it down and you have like a simplified topic that is standardized you will be able to answer your research question the best way as you'll be given a whole lot of uh what's the adjective i would use now you'll be given you'll be given your supervisor your um those that are going to viva you reasons to believe that okay this person in this particular area that this person is talking about she is an expert she knows what she's talking about she has done her research but if you're giving if you're giving them half-baked goods in every aspect you're talking about it's just going to be a disaster and i think this is one major problem that should be emphasized which is choosing complex topics if you know that you can handle the topic simplify it make your topic as as uh, understandable as possible even for you all right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, another thing is people try to choose trendy topics. Because it is trendy does not mean you have to um, you have to research it currently or does not mean that it is, uh, it is what you have to do. I think one thing people miss out is interest plays a role in research, thesis, anything. It's better you work on an aspect that you're actually interested in. There is every probability that if you're interested in a particular topic, in a particular subject, you already have like a baseline knowledge, a baseline understanding. You already know enough about that topic. And then you're now trying to, okay, bring in more interest. But if you are doing a topic just because it is trendy and not because you have an interest in it, trust me, you, you will lose the interest on in the long run. And thesis, particularly PhD thesis and even masters, you need, you need to be interested in the topic you're writing about because if you're not on the long run, you will lose the focus. So which brings me to my next point. If you have not researched a topic very well, if you have not researched a particular subject or a particular title, whatever it is you're writing about very well, do not even attempt to write. I mean, do not even attempt to go into that topic. You, It has to be well researched, well thought out. Imagine if you're trying to write on a particular subject and then 
or uh, the sources you're using the um the sources the references everything you're using is is outdated is not the recent things that uh, like if there had been innovations in that particular subject area you're talking about and then you're not including that so that means you don't actually know what is actually going on in that particular area you're talking about so you, ha you have to be well read well researched so now that i've mentioned that let me mention like some simple ways that i think that you would be that would help you in deciding what your topic your title your dissertation your thesis whatever what it will be okay number one would be area of interest like i already said if you're interested in a topic you know you pick out let me digress a bit you pick out some work some research and you see that this particular author or writer is actually writing about more just one topic one subject area but use uh based on different criteria it might be for this one and maybe it's um prevalence of something the next one is factors that influence but on still on that let's say mental health, still on that or let's say a particular mental illness still on that particular mental illness the person is writing about the prevalence writing about the factors writing about um the views of the people as in they it's still everything still revolves around that particular issue say like obesity for example you find the pre prevalence of obesity in this country they find prevalence in another country they find factors that are influencing obesity at the same time they are looking for the views of people with uh views of people that have been diagnosed with obesity and how they are trying to lose the weight as in still on obesity but that's because that's the person's area of interest or subject area where the person is focusing so apply the same thing to yourself because don't just think of it as you writing your masters or just writing your phd thesis think of yourself as an expert which is what you are you don't come and write a master's or a phd and you think of yourself as just a student you are becoming an expert in that field so what is your interest if you're able to decide what your interest is what you like what subject area you enjoy and then you go in that line it makes it super easy for you to pick out a topic like from your subject area that you like and another thing is, okay, even if you, it's not something you like, okay, something that piques your curiosity. So what piques your curiosity? What do you want to know more about? Of Almost always, I think is what you like. You always want to know more about, though, but I might be wrong. But actually, it's what you like you want to know more about or what you don't know but piques your interest. I'm still, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on track. So if... If that's the case, then if something piques your interest and you are genuinely curious and you know that, okay, this thing would def this thing definitely struck a nerve. So definitely go for it. Don't, don't, um, don't just jump on it. My own is don't jump on it because people are jumping on that particular topic. So now this, this technique, this last one that I want to mention is one that I think is the most important or is the, is the easiest way. For you to actually decide on what your topic should be and that is when you have decided on the subject area that you are going to write on and you want to now pick okay what is the topic going to be one thing i always advise is if for example now i want to write right now like i am now and i want to write on a particular topic what I would do is to pick up the most recent article about that particular subject I'm talking about, about it, everything, like everything in this, maybe everything that I published in this 2021, at least that's the most recent, 2021 articles, and then I read through it. And I don't just read through it, what part of it am I going to check so that I'll be able to get the topic I'm, I want I'll go to the recommendation area. And why am I going to the recommendation area? It's because when researchers research and they write out their work, they tell you at the end, after the discussion and everything, they tell you what they think has gone wrong with their research, what um, the biases that might be in that particular research are. Those are the things that you use in your critiquing an article. You remember when you're critiquing an article, they tell you all that. After that, they now give recommendations. They give recommendations to the government. If it's in a city or something, they give to the government. They give to the local council. Then 
they now give to fellow researchers and why what's their recommendation for fellow researchers they're telling fellow researchers coming after them that oh i have done this this is another area that i think is worth exploring that they have not covered in their own research that means because before they can come to that conclusion you know they have done the work for you already they've read they've done everything their work is up to date but that doesn't mean you should not cross check their work is up to date and then they're still telling you that these are the areas that they think that are still lagging that they think there is they have reasons to believe that you should still research so from the recommendation to researchers you can always pick your topic this has worked for me over and over as in i'm dashing you this nugget free this has worked for me at least this is one of the things that has worked for me over and over so i think it is worth holding on your left hand don't use it to eat <laughs> like it's worth noting that that is one of the easiest way you can get a topic that you want to write about there are other ways but i think i would like to leave you with just this one and then let you try it out and see if it actually works for you okay i'm not giving you these nuggets just for giving sake you have to tap on that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification okay and okay one thing i am trying to see if i can do is to organize a webinar and actually talk about how to find a thesis topic as in just give you guys all the methods for free because i don't want this video i these days i don't want my videos to be too long and i can already see that i'm talking for quite a while already so the video is getting long i don't want my videos to be long so what i would do is probably organize a webinar that would help with that my students can attest to the fact that when they pick a thesis topic we always break it down and that is because we, i want you at the end of the day to be able to understand your topic if you understand your topic then you would understand how to structure the introduction the literature review how to structure everything basically so and then you don't get stuck or confused at the end so i've got you all you have to do is send me an email it's in the description box or book a consultation or something if you want to consult about um thesis coaching like if i can help you out with your thesis and no i'm not helping you to write just help you out as a coach as a thesis coach that i am so that i can help with and then you just it's actually basically free it's free it's not even that basically it is free to ask me about thesis coaching it is free not that i would offer the services for free let me clarify but it is free for you to book an appointment so that we can talk about what your topic is and how i can be of help or if you fit into my program because not everybody might fit into the program but if you fit into the program then we can set you up and get you started but so far i hope you've been able to gain a thing or two and don't worry i'll keep you updated about the webinar whenever it's going to take place i would share all the ne necessary details because i haven't concluded yet all right guys so ha i hope and i know <laughs> that you have been able to gain a thing or two okay so I hope you've liked, I hope you've subscribed. And till I see you in my next video, make sure you put a smile on somebody's face. Bye.